This is my Lego Star Wars mock scenario and it took me about six months to work on this and obviously you can see there's several different sets are involved here. We've got absolute ton of clone troopers and droids alike and this is my greatest creation to date and I've spent the longest time perfecting this, changing it making sure I've got the right number of people here and there and I've ended up with this pretty much I've built this in quadrants six different quadrants first one that I built was this one here and it really was around the scenario where it's on the planet Coruscant and we have a, the main bridge here and there's obviously been some sort of explosion which has knocked out the bridge taken out taken it out and you can see the debris over here and what's happened is the droids have tried to get through the hole in the wall and the clones have immediately rushed to that area to stop their advance hmm. and so what we have here is plenty of clones taking cover in the debris around there obviously the few casualties here and there we've got another group coming towards the main battle area we have a group over here talking to each other obviously figuring out what's going to happen next guy here taking cover looking towards the hole in the wall <laughs> alright the second quadrat of six that I did was this one and this is the hardest thing I've ever built in Lego and pretty much I had the idea of having some sort of tunnels like they did in World War 2 but because it's on Coruscant and it's made of cement I thought well why don't I make a drain and to be able to do that I needed something to some sort of platform to elevate everything so that it would go the drain would go into the ground like it has like that and so I built these wooden platforms there, six of them, for all of them to rest on so that I could get this drain effect which has turned, ended up looking absolutely terrific and is arguably my favourite part of this mock creation and so pretty much here we've got the main battle line with the droids there going against the clones which are in the drain using it as cover while they fight the droids obviously you have a casualty here and there and the rest of the droids which are the rest sorry the rest of the clones which are coming to the fight and I've got Commander Fox there in the, in the middle ready for some action and this little guy here who's taking cover behind the structure from the, the droids the Next, the, the next four that I made were pretty easy and I did them all at once really but I'll start with the droid section obviously we have here we've got a spider droid and plenty of other droids which are advancing on the on the clones nice setup put them all here and of course the start of the bridge where there are some droids going up the bridge to try and take out the clones on the other side we have a clone tank with two hover bikes I believe they are and plenty of course droids super battle droids all going towards the main battle zone and then on the other side we have the clones now this Republic gunship is my, one of my favourite Lego sets of all time what we've got is all the clones obviously coming in to reinforce these guys that are patching up the wall while well, you know holding off the droids from coming in and in here we've got Commander Cody in there with more droids that are more sorry clones that are ready to come into battle and this squad right here that's just came out ready for action these two down here looking at each other pumping themselves up getting ready for the action coming out obviously as always casualties in the mix 
And then over to the final quadra. And the sixth one, which is really just for the walker here. And I got that set, was the last set that I got, a fantastic set, I will say. And I've also got the, um, the dropship for it too. But which, you know, in my ideal world, I'd like to have it hanging somewhere, but that's not always able to be a reality. And obviously more clones coming in to reinforce the main battle here and the drain area. The walker obviously supplying a large amount of clones for this. And these two here, which I really like, which kind of gives the setting that this this battle's on a larger scale and it continues to the left of me. And what I'll do now is I'll just hold up the gunship, sorry, dropship, above the walker and kind of come out as best as I can. And that's really what I'm going for. <laughs> oh yeah. Six months for me to build this. The hardest thing was really trying to get all of these clones because I got a ton of those um, packs uh, the battle packs or whatever they're called which come with four clones and yeah cost a fair bit but I eventually got the amount that I wanted which was at least a hundred clones and I ended up getting around 108, 109 all up so I was pretty happy with that and then over here all my droids which were surprisingly harder to get especially because you can't get many sets I ebayed most of the droids here but I'm Again, I am extremely happy with the end result of this. It has just turned out so unreal, so unbelievably fantastic. This is, will, is and will be my really my key creation of LEGO that I ever make. And I will say I am a, an extremely proud LEGO creator at this time. And yes, you may be wondering what will I do with it, you know, when I need to pack it away. And what I do is I've made it so each of these six can be split apart very easily. And essentially I just glad wrap or cling wrap all of them. And so that they don't get any dust on them. Which as you, any LEGO creator knows is an absolute nightmare when you get dust on LEGO because it's extremely hard to get off. But this is it, my Lego Star Wars mock on Corson. Thank you.